happening YouTube, welcome back to another episode of the Pikachu Cup. So currently our rating stands at 1631, uh, and we get a opponent from Queensland. Um, wow, so this is pretty good. So uh, we get Linda from Queensland, their team consists of Pikachu, Ampharos, Manetric, Luxray, Electivire, and Rotom Wash. Okay, so right off the bat, uh, you know, this, uh, obviously the, the teams here are uh, predominantly in the, uh, in this meta game, have consisted of uh, Ampharos, uh, Electivire, and uh, yeah, it seems like this team is uh, two megas in one case because uh, it features both Manetric and Ampharos. So okay, I think I want to lead with Emolga and Electivire, and then in the back, I am going to bring Electros and. Rotom Cut. Rotom Cut. He actually, it will bring Ampharos. Thanks for that, Ampharos. So, yeah. I think Ampharos might be the better overall. I know I can withstand one Earthquake most of the time. And I do um, have HP ground. The big tune Electrifier. Okay. Okay, so a fake out lead is uh, is what I'm predicting, uh, and then one has an air balloon. Okay, so in that case, what I want to do is a tailwind, and protect. I think he knows that to expect my electivire is a threat, but he may have also just, of course, simply go for a fake out onto Emolga. <clears throat> It's completely up to him, but he fakes, yeah, he make, goes to the right play and fakes out a Mulga. Okay. Electivire has Taunt. Okay, that's interesting. So what I'm going to do in this case is go for Knock Off, uh, get rid of the Air Balloon, and I'm going to switch out into Electros. I think it's the best play we can make. Get rid of the Air Balloon. And sends in Rotom. Okay, Rotom. Yep. Get the knockoff onto Electivire and get rid of the air balloon. Electivire goes to Earthquake, but yeah, thankfully we've made the right switch. Uh, and yeah, so no one will take any Earthquake damage. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to go for a... Uh, knock off onto the Rotom as well, as we get Rotom's item, and go for a Giga Drain. What we'll do, go for Giga Drain. Or, yeah, Giga Drain at the moment. <clears throat> this is uh, proving to look like a especially defensive Rotom, by the looks of things. We just ma we managed to ha hang on after the um, after the rock slide. Unfortunately, yeah. Unfortunately, Electros gets burnt and flinch. Okay, so we're not not in a good position here as far as Electros goes. So what I want to do here is switch out uh, switch out a Molga into Ampharos. And I'm going to Giga Drain the Rotom. Electrify goes to Rock Slide. And Rome's going for Reflect, okay. Hmm, so here, I know I definitely want to switch back out to Molga. And I'm going to... 
or I can stay in and tank a Earthquake. I believe I can take one. So I might as well Mega Evolve and HP Ground the Electrifier, see if I can take it out. And I'm just going to continue to Giga Drain the Rotom. Uh, we'll see what he decides to see. So actually, he withdraws his Electrifier. Okay. Goes into Pikachu. Okay. Admittedly, I could have actually gone for HP Ground on the Rotom Wash. Well, it'd be just a double switch. Okay. Well, actually, getting rid of this Pikachu could actually prove to be good. Because then he no longer has access to Fake Out. So if I can get rid of Pikachu, then all the better. I make uh, bringing Morga back, back in a little bit easier on me. We get off HP Ground onto Pikachu. And it's Focus Sash. Okay. Pikachu is a... Uh, holding a Focus Sash. Okay, so... Now I want to... I don't know what I actually want to do now, to be honest with you. Um... Good switch in Electivire. But then it'll be coming down to speed tie. Okay, we're going to switch into Electivire. And I'm going to in assume that he will want to KO my uh, Electros with a HP ground. He goes for a helping hand. And Everest goes to Dragon Pulse. Okay. That's enough to knock out my Electrifier. Okay. Hmm. Let me take out Pikachu. Okay. I was really under the assumption that he would want to take out my Electros, and if that was the case, I probably should have switched out to, uh... I probably should have focused on switching out to a Molga. Uh... Good news is that we do have, um, I can set up Tailwind should I so, should I, uh, so choose to, and I should, Yeah, I think the best thing I can do here is just go for Helping Hand. Yeah, I'm going to, I think I'm going to bring it down to Speed Tire, so I'm going to have to Helping Hand and Giga Drain the Rotom. Helping Hand, Giga Drain. Yeah, okay. Helping Hand, Giga Drain is probably the best thing we can do. We need to get the HP back. And I think I just need to... Even though I'm risking a Speed Tire, I think it's the only good thing I can really do. So Rotom uh, shows light screen. Okay, so I'm assuming that Rotom probably maybe uh, has the item to boost uh, <clears throat> reflect and light screen. So he's choosing to KO. Um, okay, well he wants to go for the KO onto Electros. That's interesting. Um, <clears throat> Okay, in this case, it's pretty much going to come down to speed tie uh, versus, yeah, speed tie. Um, and it's my Ampharos and his Ampharos. So what I'm going to do is I am going to helping hand and dragon pulse the, his Ampharos. And uh, Rotom misses out on his Hydro Pump. Okay. And Reflect wears off. Okay. Then comes Electrovire. Electrovire is still a really big threat here. 
Uh, we do need to get rid of it, however, if we can. So what I'm going to do is go for... Well, there's not really a lot I can do. So I need to go for... Knock off... Onto Rotom. And HP Ground. Or Dragon Pulse. I think they do both about the same damage. Yeah, so I need to Dragon Pulse Electrifier. <clears throat> now he might want to go for knockoff. I mean, sorry, rock slide. He showed that he did have it before. But as soon as he goes for ice punch, and we do thankfully live the ice punch. So we may end up taking this. Uh, we do, we do outspeed. So, yeah. So it all comes down to whether or not rock slide can KO. Um, we are faster than the Electrifier, so we will get knock off, off first in way of doing damage. And he goes for Ice Punch on Ampharos. But knock off, hmm, we may or may not be able to KO. Mind you, obviously, I don't have a lot of attack investment. And knock off is the last thing um, I'd expect to KO from Mulga. Mulga. Knock off is just here to pretty much get rid of items from the opponent. And we managed to take the game out with knockoff. So very great game to my opponent there. Uh, I believe actually this person, Linda, I believe they're actually on my stream. I think I know who this person is. So very, um, you know, very uh, great opponents. I think I battled them in the past. So good game, a very well played match. And uh, yeah, we'll f go ahead and find a second an opponent. So that takes our rating up to 1645, uh, number of battles 23, 17 wins and 6 losses. So uh, yeah, I've got to obviously complete my battles by the end of the day. Uh, I'm going to try, I think I think it, uh, the battle cap is 30. As our next opponent ends up being a 1640 raid player from France. So their team consists of Ampharos, Magnezone, Jolteon, Electrovire, Rotom Wash and Stunfisk. So as you can see, uh, commonly like Pokemon, you know, all the Rotom forms, Electivire, and Feroz have all been uh, pretty common on a lot of teams. So against this team, I definitely want to bring a, uh, I definitely do want to bring a Stunfisk counter. So I'm going to lead with Imolga, and I think in the, yeah, I think we'll lead with Imolga and. Uh, Lectros or to Mulga Evire. Mulga Evire is probably the best um, best lead. In the back, we will bring Lantern and Ampharos. Yeah. So, um, yes, I could have I could have bought. Uh, my Rotom cut, that would have uh, easily dealt with uh, the Rotom on his team, but at the same time, I feel I've, I have enough that can deal with uh, his Rotom. The same leads as before, Electrovire and Mogga, and he leads with Stunfisk and Rotom Wash. Okay. Uh, right now, uh, I'm going to assume that he wants to burn me. So I'm going to go for Tailwind. And I think I actually now want to switch out. Um, hmm. I think I actually might be forced to switch out. Okay, let's, let's switch out into Lantern. I could go for Protect, yes, but it only delay the inevitable. He's going to go for Earth Power. Reason being for this is I think Ronan Wash wants to go for a burn onto Electrifier. So I believe I can at least tank one. Um, <clears throat> at least tank one uh, Earth Power. It does go for the Earth Power as predicted. And of course we do have the Tailwind up now as well. So we can, uh, we can effectively deal with this Stunfisk. So what I'm going to do now is Helping Hand and uh, Scold the Stunfisk.
Don't fish could go for protect here. I'm hoping it doesn't. <laughs> and it doesn't. Okay, so we do manage to get the KO on Stunfisk. Oh no, Stunfisk is very heavily um, invested. Okay, in special defense. But I don't know if it's Earth Power with KO here. We just managed to hang on. What I want to do here now is knock off the... Uh, I think from that range we can take out Sunfisk. So I'm going to knock off the... Uh, knock off the Rotom. And go for another Scold onto the... Stunfisk. So he sends in his... Ampharos. Okay. Again, knock off onto the Rotom. We knock off the choice specs, which is good, okay. Get rid of the choice specs. And Rotom finally, yeah, finally hits a Hydro Pump, okay. Now we do have one more turn of Tailwind left. And I do intend to maximize its effectiveness. So I am going to... I think I can take one, um, I think I definitely can take one from, a uh, hit from Ampharos. So I'm going to go into my own Ampharos, Mega Revolve and HP Grounds, the Rotom, right off the bat. HP Grounds, and we're going to, with the speed advantage, what I'm going to do is I know I'm going to definitely lose Lantern this turn, so I'm going to soak his Mega Ampharos. And that should hopefully take away from some of the damage that uh, his Ampharos is capable of dealing, uh, especially from its stab Dragon Pulse. So, makes a lot of sense to go for that play. Rodan goes for Will O' Wisp. Okay, that's interesting. It, it had choice specs, but it also has Will O' Wisp. Yeah, very interesting. As the Ampharos goes for Power Gem, which will easily take out Lantern. And we run out of Tailwind. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is... Um... <clears throat> I'm going to go for a HP ground again onto the Rotom to guarantee that we take it out. And I'm going to Ice Punch. I think Ice Punch is the best move we can go for. Okay, let's Ice Punch the Ampharos. Yep, predicting the Mega Evolution, okay. Because obviously I don't want to damage myself if I don't have to, so which is why I don't obviously don't want to go for EQ at the moment. We go for Ice Punch. But the the other problem is we we have now as well is the fact that uh, Rotom may burn me, and we avoid the Hydro Pump. Okay, so that's that's actually very crucial. So we, we get very lucky there. And we managed to check out Rotom now as well. <clears throat> I'm surprised to see he didn't uh, try to go for a burn play, but I'm sure he also considered the fact that uh, Stunfisk in the back was at quite low health. So uh, I'm guessing maybe indicative of the fact that he might be running, uh, say, he very well could be running uh, assault Vest. Okay, so what I want to do here is... I think I could HP ground the... Uh, Electivire. And I don't want to risk a speed tie here right away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to protect with my own Electivire. I'm going to see if I can survive and potentially take out an Electivire. Now, burn damage, this 
uh, might not be doable. But he takes out his own Stunfisk. And we do survive. So, HP grounds. Yeah, so it all comes down now to a speed tie. Uh, so HP ground, and I'm hoping I win a speed tie. So HP ground and earthquake is essentially all I can do. And we thankfully we do win any possible speed tie that would have occurred. So I do take out Lyanthros, but I win the game and take out the Electros. I mean, sorry, the elect Electivire. <laughs> Electivire. I hope I've been saying um, Electros and Electivire the whole recording, but if I have, you get to go, gee, that guy thought Electivire was Electros. <laughs> Anyhow. But uh, yeah, that is game, and uh, that is the end of this upload, so I'd like to thank you, the viewer, for watching. Uh, if you like my content, please remember to support me, give this video a thumbs up, all that sort of thing, and I'll see you guys next upload. Take care.